Welcome to Fook VR YouTube channel. For those new to my channel, my channel is about programming, specifically Android programming. The video you are watching belongs to the series about Jetpack Compose. If you want to learn more about Jetpack Compose, you can refer to the link in the comment or tag on the right side of the screen. If you find the video interesting, please click like and subscribe to the latest videos, or you can come to my blog to see the latest articles, don't forget to invite me for a coffee if the article is useful. The only elements recycler view renders are the ones visible on the screen. Only after the user scrolls does it provide the brand new elements and display them on the screen. When you scroll back to see the previous elements, it makes them from the pool. Thanks to these actions, re-rendering is so fast that it's near as if the elements were never removed from the screen. This optimization system provides recycler view its name. Loading information only when required is called lazy loading, as well as Jetpack Compose increases down on this approach to manage lists. The primary two components you use for lazy lists in Compose are the lazy column and lazy row. Lazy column and lazy row are utilized for vertical and horizontal circumstances, specifically. Recycler view utilizes a layout manager to set its orientation, yet Jetpack Compose does not have layout managers. Rather, you use two various composable functions to transform the orientation. The composables operate almost similarly to Recycler View, yet without requiring reuse. When you use Lazy Column or Lazy Row, the structure makes up just the elements that it needs to show on the screen. When you scroll, new elements are made up, and the old ones are disposed of. Let's implement vertical and horizontal listings to classify the guides you previously revealed. You will show a category that represents the types of books. You'll build a screen with a vertical list, where each composable item inside the list is another horizontal list. You'll split the vertical list into book categories and each book category will have a horizontal list of books that belong there. Now, this file contains a predefined property named items with a list of book categories. That's the data you'll display on the screen. At the bottom of the file. Here, you added a lazy column and set the items parameter with the items property containing your data. Items is a list of objects of the book category type. Each book category contains a string with the category name and a list of images showing the books that should appear in that category. This way you can call any number of composable functions to represent your items and you can add special logic depending on the item type, its position and more. Next, you'll implement list, item, First, you added a column as the parent layout of the composable so you can align its children vertically. The column uses a padding modifier to add some space near the borders. The top child of column is a text. You need this to display the title of the category, which is passed as the text argument. Note how you styled the text by changing the font size, weight and color. The next element is a spacer, which adds some space between the category name and the rest of the content. I'll let you show the category name on top of the horizontal list of books. Now add the horizontal list of books. Similar to how you built a vertical list, using a lazy row you create a horizontal list. It receives the list of book images as a parameter and a lambda that builds images. Since the list you passed as an argument to lazy row contains resource IDs instead of the actual images, 
you need to use Painter resource to retrieve the correct asset. Image displays the book image for each element in the list. Set the content description with the provided string. You used a size modifier to set a static size of 170 dp width and 200 dp height. Now, build and run the app. As you see, the books are sorted by category. You can scroll vertically to browse book categories and horizontally to browse books in each category. Lists are very easy to use and understand, especially because their signature requires only a few parameters to make them work. Let's dive a bit deeper into their implementation. Now that you understand the difference in how to implement specific lists, take a look at the signature for lazy column and lazy row. The most important parameter to notice here is the content used for the content inside the list. This content is of a lazy list scope type and not your usual composable type. Please look at the lazy list scope interface to learn why it is so important. The interface provides a set of functions that help you in building lists. Items allow you to set a list of item data you would like to use in each list item. Once you set the data, you also need to provide an item content that is composable and used for displaying every item in your list. Item allows you to add a new composable item to your list. Note that you can use different composable types every time. Sticky header allows you to set the header composable that will remain visible on the top of the list, even after you scroll down to see new items. Note that this function is annotated with Experimental Foundation API, which means that it's still in the experimental stage and might change or be removed in the future. Unlike the Recycler view, lists in Jetpack Compose don't require an adapter, view holder layout managers, and an RV element in your XML files to make it work. Using one of the two very simple functions, you can show a horizontal or vertical list that is performant and customizable. There are extension functions like items indexed, which has the same features as items but also provides you with an index for each item. That's all for the theory. So far, you've implemented simple lists and a list of horizontal lists for your books. The last thing you need to learn how to do is to build grids. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it interesting, please press the like button, and subscribe to the channel, or you can invite me for a cup of coffee by buying me a coffee.